the MG HS mid-sized SUV. More space, more safety tech with MG Pilot, and more peace of mind. All from only $29,990 drive away. The MG HS, it's the more you've been looking for. Sunshine Coast MG, across the Sunshine Coast on 91.1 and iHeartRadio. This is Hot 91 News. There, Courtney Begg here with your news update. Queensland's embattled health system has been placed under the microscope at estimates hearings, revealing plans to build satellite hospitals are behind schedule and over budget. Jess Ambler has more. Seven satellite hospitals are planned for the southeast, including in Chugan, Eight Mile Plains, and Caboolture. The sites were pitched during the 2020 state election campaign in a bid to take pressure off major hospitals and bring services closer to some high growth but underserviced communities. They were meant to be finished by May 2023 at a cost of $265 million. But today it was confirmed at an estimates hearing. They're now expected to open in the second half of the year with a $15 million cost increase. Pressure is mounting on the federal government to clarify whether it will keep a promise to cut electricity bills by $275. Labor went to the May election pledging to cut power prices as part of its plan to reduce cost of living pressures. An Aussie couple has fallen into a sinkhole on New Zealand's North Island, leaving a woman in a serious condition. The geothermal hole is believed to have opened up following recent heavy rain. And a landmark report has found air pollution contributes to dementia. The Committee on the Medical Effects of Air Pollutants believes polluted air causes damage to the blood vessels in the brain. Dementia Australia Associate Professor Michael Woodward says people who live near busy roads or polluted cities have an increased risk. This analysis of many research studies seems to indicate that it might be that some of the pollutants get into our blood and could potentially affect how our brain works and indeed increase our risk of developing dementia. At Chemist Warehouse, get half price off the goat range. Hot 91. Maroons coach and former Storm fullback Billy Slater doesn't believe there's any cause for panic for Melbourne just yet. Melbourne heads into tonight's clash with the Warriors in Auckland, having lost four straight games. Slater says they just need to hang on until players return from injuries. The biggest challenge is making sure that they're in a, a good position on the ladder when they do get it together. and You know, that's really important. But I, I think the priority is to be to be hitting your straps in about six weeks time so they got time up their sleeve and lawn bowls and para lawn bowls will kick off the 2022 commonwealth games are you a truck multi-skilled or excavator operator looking to grow your career with an industry leader tease is looking for experienced operators to join our current project in blackwater we'll pay you up to one hundred fifty five thousand dollars annually plus up to an extra 10k through our new safe production bonus scheme it's a 7-7 roster and includes accommodation meals and bus a nice clear evening coming up. Weekend outlook, a bit of a mixed bag really. Tomorrow we're expecting a mostly sunny one. Nine degrees tonight, 19 tomorrow. There could be a strong wind warning. Uh, current for the coastal waters, so check that as well. If you're heading out uh, boating, it may be a bit of a hairy day tomorrow. Sunday, cloudy, 12 to 21, currently sitting on 17 degrees.